hours into the total experience, we decided we were going to change and increase the air volume. At the beginning, we were operating our blower at a reduced air volume based on some information we got from Skip Williams. All things being equal, we decided that there's nothing's possibly going wrong here as it is. We've gone back to an air volume more typical of what we would normally smell as. A couple of things have happened. You can see this what's happening and as slag is produced on the inside, partially from the decay of the stone, partially from the vast amount of clay popping off the inside, that essentially our blowhole has effectively self-sealed itself with congealed slag. There's been an equilibrium break with the terrier itself. The last, oh, approximately inch of that terrier has burned off completely. And now is approximately even with the edge of the outside surface of the stone. With the lower air volume, our heated column was only approximately here, about 30 centimeters above our terrier. In our own experience, we've had difficulty getting effective iron production with such a short heated column. This is, of course, affected by the density and the size of the ore particles you're working with, the quality of the ore you're using. We're losing a fair amount of our heated gases through this huge big hole at the side here, but for now we're just going to leave that and see what happens. Unfortunately, there's still considerable amounts of material that are spalling off the inside of the clay smelter. We've increased our burn rate significantly. It's now approaching eight to seven minutes per uh, standard bucket load, which is what we would normally be looking for in the past. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue we're operating at this higher rate, and probably after another bucket, we will actually start adding our hematite ore. It has a smaller particle size. Normally it doesn't take as long as high a column for that smaller particle to come up to reaction temperature. And then because of its proportion of uh, surface area to volume being so high, it reacts quicker. So we're hoping all uh, put together, we still should be able to get an effective smell here. Of course, this experiment is about the process, not the product.